hi guys this is a, a photography and design welcome to my channel i do apologize guys i have been away i haven't done a video in some uh, time few weeks now so uh yeah so this video uh, this tutorial uh, basically this is going to be about um you know how to uh, get that uh, cinematic effect in da vinci uh, resolve now before i go any further guys you might want to follow up but before before you do that one thing i am going to mention is you're going to need the film convert it's on their website and you also need to um, download the uh, camera pack uh, i will put these links up in the description obviously but uh, this is just to give you an idea so uh, this tutorial so basically i sh normally shoot with the panasonic gh5 so when you get to this website uh, and then it's going to ask you what camera you use so in my case it's the panasonic so and then what you do is it's going to ask what sort of panasonic camera you are using, what model so in my case it's the gh5 and then operating system windows then location europe and then you're good to go so supposing if it was a, a canon you're shooting in again you just click on Cam canon maybe it's a a 5d mark ii again windows europe so obviously this is straightforward and uh, once you've got the desired uh, camera pack you just download it uh, like i say you know i will uh, put these links up but obviously uh, before you do that you need to download the uh, film convert itself as well now film convert you do sort of like get a free trial or you can just purchase a full license just like i've done because I feel it's worth it for me. So anyway, guys, that being said, going back to Da Vinci Resolve now. For this tutorial, now supposing if I want to color grade a clip, so I'm just going to drag this guy over here. Oops, I'm just going to sorry do that again because it mixes up in the other clips here. So yeah, I'm just going to drag this in here. Now supposing if this is the clip that I want to do just for this... Uh, tutorial sake now this is a, a footage i've shot in the uh, panasonic gh5 so you install your camera packs as i've shown you and then basically what you do is you go into this uh, rgb here then make sure you click on this uh, library here and as you go down the library i'm just going to show you something here if i go all the way down to the list here can you see film convert that shows i've uh, installed it successfully you'll find that in the library and also also make sure you just click on nodes here so there now what i'm going to do here guys is so you see this film uh, convert nitrate what i do is i'm going to just drag this guy here just over the node and there can you see it's cinematic already now the good thing about this is guys can you see over here where it says camera settings this is where you uh uh, install the uh, the camera packs now uh, before i've actually adjusted the, the uh, camera packs look can you see it's cinematic already uh, i've not even uh, put uh, i've not even like put over a, a camera pack so if i show you the before and after already look can you see there so that was before and this is after when i dragged the uh, the film nitrate over so it's, you can see it's cinematic already now uh, to push things further guys so this is where it gets interesting so you click on uh, choose camera now i've already installed my uh, camera packs as i've shown you from the beginning so in my case it's panasonic and then i've got the gh5 which i what which is what i've used for this clip and then the, what kind of profile now profile you just go through each one to see what you prefer now if i click on vivid and apply can you see how it changes it I, the best thing to do is just go through each one i mean technically speaking i actually chose portrait with this one so if i click on portrait there can you see how cinematic that is again i'll just show you the before and after there look how beautiful that is i mean i strongly recommend uh, film convert you know uh, if you're a film uh, videographer just like myself and bearing in mind guys the beautiful thing about this is it's not only made for uh, video stuff it actually edits images as well uh, as i've said before uh, davinci resolve is a powerful software 
do not underestimate it guys it is absolutely brilliant now uh, to push things further i can actually adjust the uh, exposure so i can choose to go a bit up like this or i can sort of like mess around with the temperatures just to get that desired effect so i'll just leave it there for now you can tin as i say guys you've got to sort of like play around with these settings to uh, get the effect that you want saturation i'm happy with saturation and uh, again you can sort of like mess around there i actually like that effect it gives you that kind of like cold effect so i mean everything else to be fair i'm not gonna mess around with because i feel uh, i don't need to touch all this so and then i've got the uh, grain the curtain now by default guys uh, this actually gives you a lot of grain in the uh, footage that's how uh, film nitrate is actually designed now why they've done that by default that i do not know maybe there's somebody watching this video who does know just comment below if you know why so by default you are going to get a lot of uh, grain footage so in order to resolve that basically you just go on this uh, grain curve and you just sort of like pull down the uh, shadows here i'll just show you so now you probably might not notice but that's taken a lot of grain out of the footage so film the uh, so this is film response so just maybe you might want to sort of like mess around with the uh, colors here so with this one i might sort of if i want to give it a little fadey effect i'll just drag that up slightly there not too much we don't want to make it too uh, obvious so maybe we can sort of like drag that a bit down the reds just gonna drag this guy just about oops not too much about there and then i can sort of like greens so i'm just gonna bring the greens down i'd say about about there sorry i'll just drag it up instead blues i'm just gonna experiment with the blues remember guys it's all about experimenting you know don't be afraid to uh mess around with the colors here it's not gonna bite you it's, that's what they're there for you know just to test it out there that's perfect guys and uh basically that's to be fair i'm actually happy with that I'm just gonna show you a before and uh, after i mean look at that guys i mean how can you be a videographer and not use film convert i mean come on just look at this look how beautiful that is i mean i use this all the time i did mention in my uh, first tutorial on davinci uh, resolve is actually a powerful software uh, a lot of film directors use this for their uh, movies for netflix series it is absolutely beautiful i mean i can actually do a, a full vlog on this you know that's how powerful this software is so and there you go guys there i am now now there now the other thing i forgot to mention guys if you want to extract images out of this you can you can actually do this you know you can uh, make uh, jpegs out of this you know i'm not I'm not actually going to go into too much uh, detail maybe i'll do that in another uh, vlog or something so you can see how powerful this is uh, so uh, th this is basically all i wanted to show you guys it was a simple uh, video you know nothing too technical you know just make sure you do install uh, firm convert and then the camera packs if there's any questions guys that you want to ask me or, or i've not uh, explain something clear enough just uh, drop me your questions below in the comments now uh, i'm not gonna end the video here you might want to stick around and see the uh, before and after clip so after this video ends just stick around and you'll see the before and after effects that i've done using firm convert but yeah there you have it guys but thank you for watching if there's anything you, you want to ask me just drop your comments below and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.